So here we have another very basic example of the geometric series in a question. Um, and they tell, they give us a geometric series. They tell us it's a geometric series, and um, they ask us to find the sum of the first eleven terms. So we have to find the sum, the first eleven terms, and there we go. That's our formula. So we always start with the formula, and let's just start with the general formula S n. As soon as we know we find we're finding the sum of a geometric series, then we s write down our formula because it tells us exactly what are we going to need to answer this question. So this is what I need. Now I do my stock taking. So what I mean by stock taking is simply let's see what we have and what do we need to still provide for ourselves. Okay, so here we need in our formula all of the variables. Do we have the sum? Uh, actually, do we have S11? No, that's what we need to go calculate. Do we have N? Well, they tell us we want the first 11 terms. So yes, we have N is 11. Do we have A? A is our first term. Yes, our first term is 6. And do we have R, our constant ratio? Well, we can quickly go and calculate it. Term 2 divided by term 1 is 3 over 6. Um, or 1 over 2. So there we have it. All we need to do is go and substitute. We have got everything, so it's a very simple example. Uh, a being 3, 1 minus R being 1 over 2, to the power 11, all divided by 1 minus 1 over 2. And let's calculate that. This is 3, 1 minus, this would be 1 over 2, 0, 4, 8, divided by a half. 1 minus a half still just leaves me with a half. Okay. That gives me, when I divide with a fraction, it's the same as to multiply with the uh, reciprocal. So it's the same as multiplying with 2 when I divide with a half, so I get 6. Inside here, let's do, do it without a calculator. It's such an easy question. So 1 can be 2048 over 2048 minus 1 over 2048, which gives me 6. And in the numerator, I have now 2047 over 2048. Okay, and all I need to do is multiply the 6 in. First of all, I can see, uh, I can ask myself, can 6 divide into, into this number? 6 can't divide into this number. Okay, the way you can check is to see, can 2 and 3 divide in there? Well, 2 can, div can divide in there. But 3 cannot. A 3 cannot. And how do we know 3 cannot? We just add all the, the numbers. 2 plus 4 is 6. 3 can divide into 6, but not into 6 plus 8. 6 plus 8 gives me 14. 3 can't divide into 14. So a 3 can't divide in there, which means only 2 can. So I'm going to have in the end, 2 goes in there 3 times and in there 1, 0, 2, 4 times. I'm going to multiply this with 3. Okay, 3 times 7 gives me 21. 3 times 4 gives me 12, gives me 14. 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1. 3 times 2 is 6 over 1, 0, 2, 4. There we go. Without using calculator, it took a little bit longer, but there's a very pretty answer. And uh, with that in mind, let's wrap it up.